ladies and gentlemen, to present the Leslie Gary Brenner Award for Innovation in Science, we introduce to you Hereditary Disease Foundation, member of the Board of Directors and founding trustee, Frank Gary. So I joined this outfit 50 years ago when it was starting because there was a guy named Milton Wexler. He was my shrink, actually, um, who taught me about anger management. <laughs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today if he hadn't taught me about that. But um, during the early days of this uh, operation, we were looking into, because he and I knew a bunch of artists, and uh, we, I'm being an artist and working uh, that way, we had meetings with young scientists and talked about creativity and how that happens and um, exploring the unknown and the idea that you don't do something, if you know what you're gonna do in advance, you don't bother to do it. Um, I attended many of those group meetings, the early meetings, I don't know how many of you were there, but they had a group of six, 16 maybe young um, postdocs sitting around a table and then they had a senior scientist ring, and they weren't allowed to talk unless they were asked a question. <laughs> and that was a fantastic uh, thing to behold. I used to go, I didn't understand what they were talking about. I still don't know what the caudate nucleus is, even though they <laughs> talked about it a lot. I'm sure it's back here somewhere. <laughs> Um, but the idea that, you, that there is such a similarity between the, the search in science and the search as an artist and the very close relationship to, the, to, the, to those um, efforts uh, and the similarities are great. So I learned a lot about it, spent a lot of time with it and I'm honored to still be part of it. A few years ago, my young daughter passed away, not from Huntington's, from ovarian cancer, but she was in the hospital and she had a, some, uh, she owned a, a, some property and stuff, and she asked me if I would uh, be sure that was donated for science for the Hereditary Disease Foundation, and I decided to match it. So we created a fund in her name, Leslie Gary Brenner, I forget which, uh, which sequence we did. <laughs> Leslie Gary Brenner, I did it right. <laughs> um, in her name, and we give that award every year, and it was, the idea was to give it without any strings, thinking, I was thinking about uh, young scientists, uh, you give them 100K with no strings and see what happens. And I, I love that idea, the freedom that that implied. And I think that's the idea to continue until we met the current honoree, Frank Bennett, <laughs> And I'm honored tonight to be the one to bestow the award on him. And I think he gave the money back. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I <laughs> to you. Anyway, Frank Bennett, please come forward. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much, Mr. Geary. It's um, a real pleasure to meet you, and I'm sorry I never had the opportunity to meet your daughter. She sounds like a wonderful human being. And uh, I'd, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank, but I won't have time. But I, I did want to acknowledge that uh, developing drugs really is a, uh, not a single person endeavor. It's, it's uh, if anything, in uh, medicine is a team sport, developing drugs is a team sport, and there are a lot of people who contributed to this effort. Uh, so, some of the people in this room were instrumental in uh, identifying the gene and uh, uh, understanding the biology of the gene, which is still very important uh, today to, to uh, a lot more work to be done. And I really do thank uh, 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 the people in the room for everything they've done to make this possible. And then uh, I'd also like to thank my collaborators who worked with me on this project, in particular Don Cleveland at UCSD. and. Uh, his uh, 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 very talented postdoctoral fellow, uh, Holly uh, Kordasevich, uh, who now works at Ionis because she was so talented and continues to work on this project, uh, uh, were really key for doing some of the initial studies in mice. And then uh, uh, a number of our uh, uh, collaborators at Ionis and, and colleagues, uh, as well as at Roche, who helped uh, move uh, an idea into uh, the, the clinical trials were really key. And finally, the, the clinical investigators, in, including last year's awardee, uh, Sarah Tabrizi, uh, who really led the, the clinical uh, development for the phase one trial, should be uh, acknowledged as part of that. And then finally, uh, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my wife, Paula, and uh, my three sons that uh, really uh, put up with me for the last uh, uh, large number of years. <laughs> and uh, have, have encouraged me to pursue my, uh, my dreams in science and uh, you know, working on therapies to, to help people that uh, have a, a need. And so uh, thank you very much. And finally, I, I could think of no better use of, of the money. I work for a pharmaceutical company, and so the, uh, I didn't feel like it was appropriate to put it in the coffers and, and get lost there. So I, I felt that uh, the best use of the money is really to provide it back to the foundation and continue this great work uh, that that uh, Nancy and the team are doing. So thank you.